So in front of me, you have your standard perch kit. We of course have our perch camera system. We have our tablet, any standard Android or iOS tablet will work. We have our battery pack. So the perch device can be powered by wall power or our external battery pack. The battery pack has a few magnets in the back so it can easily be adhered anywhere on the weight rack. We have our tablet mount, which is a double-sided magnetic tablet mount, and then all of our uh, charging and power cables. Perch camera is compatible with almost any weight rack on the market today. There are a few weight racks in which the perch might not be compatible, and for that we've made a separate rack adapter um, that we'll cover in a separate video. But right now I'll show you how easy it is to install a perch. First thing you'll do, you'll take your perch product, you'll put it right up to the front of your rack, you'll take the Velcro strap, you'll loop it back on the attachment point, and then loop it back and adhere it to itself. So just like that, you have your perch product firmly secured in place, really rugged, robust, not going anywhere. Um, we get a lot of questions around why we use Velcro, um, and the reason is just that. It's really rugged, sturdy, and it makes it really, really easy to install your Perch product quickly. There are a few different ways to power your Perch camera. The standard way is to plug the camera directly into wall power. Or if you don't have power outlets readily accessible in your weight room, we have an external battery pack. So the battery pack gives your Perch device 12 hours of continuous use, and it recharges in about three to four hours. It also has ma magnets adhered in the back, which uh, allows you to easily adhere it anywhere on uh, the weight rack. Um, it also has a switch on the top, which allows you to power it on and off in between sessions. So to install it, all you have to do is take the battery, adhere it anywhere on the rack near your perch device, and then take the supplied cable, plug it into the battery, and then plug the other end directly into the perch camera, and then power your battery on. Your perch camera will now power up as if it was connected to the wall. So what do you do if you want to capture velocity-based training data, but you actually don't have a rack? Maybe you just have a platform where you have a squat stand, for instance. So actually built perch to be mobile and flexible enough that you don't need to use it with a rack. Um, so all you have to do is you have to take our, our portable battery pack, strap it directly to the camera, and use our uh, provided cable, and all of a sudden Perch is now a mobile solution. So you can take Perch and you can use the flat bottom that we've designed into it to mount that or place it flush on the ground. Then you can prop it up against the wall or use a weight, for instance, to prop it up. And then you can use Perch like you would just if it was attached to a rack. So I'll show you exactly what that looks like. I'll hit start, and then I'll do a quick set for you just to show you that it does work. Just like that, capturing the same data as you would if it was mounted to a rack. Once you've got your camera powered up and on the rack, we're gonna go ahead and load up our tablet app. Our tablets we're, we're compatible with are both Android or iOS, depending on your preference. We're gonna demo here on an iOS tablet. Once you open up your Perch app, you're gonna be prompted to log in and you're gonna wanna use your admin credentials that you created on the actual web app as well. Once I've done that, I'll go ahead and hit go and it'll log me in. Now I have to connect my camera. On an Android tablet, this is gonna automatically reconnect once you've done this in your tablet settings. On an iOS tablet, you're gonna to have to reconnect this every time that you reboot that camera. That's just an Apple setting, standard for an Apple user. I'll hit connect, select an accessory screen will pop up and then my camera will pop up right then and I can go ahead and select it and it will go ahead and pair. You can tell that the camera is paired to the tablet here when I see my start screen or I can actually hit the settings button on the bottom right hand side and I can see the connected camera there as well. We can also verify the connectivity here in the bottom left hand side, there's a camera icon and if I tap that, I can see that my camera is connected to Wi-Fi, and all my data is connected to the cloud as well. I can check for updates here and again, of course, you can update your cameras directly on the web application as well, if preferred. And then to connect camera to Wi-Fi in the bottom right hand side of the settings icon, you can actually select the Wi-Fi button here and uh, select to allow your tablet to share Wi-Fi credentials to your actual camera. We do want to make sure that the camera is connected to Wi-Fi as well because all of that data will be able to be uploaded, will be able to troubleshoot, and you'll be able to get updates to your camera provided it is connected to Wi-Fi. To make sure that we're capturing really quality data, we need to ensure that the entire field of view of our lift is being captured by the camera. In order to do that and calibrate the camera, there's an exercise preset screen on the tablet that we'll need to go through. Now you can calibrate one camera in your entire weight room and transfer those presets to the rest of your devices as was shown on the web application. In order to set the camera calibration, we're gonna click the camera calibration button on the bottom right hand side of that screen. And you'll be able to see that for this back squat exercise where the camera is pointing. You can see that the barbell is in the bottom of this field of view here. It really doesn't matter where the camera is seeing the barbell if it's on the rack. We wanna make sure that as we're moving through that full range of motion, we're capturing that really good data. So in order to calibrate the camera, I'm gonna go ahead and unrack the barbell, step to where I typically will lift, 
and then move through the full range of motion. And if I can see that the bar is found through that full range of motion, we know that's a really good setting for that camera to be angled at. If I need to change the camera angle, I'll go ahead and adjust up or down, and it will tell me whether or not that bar is lost or found throughout that. I'll go ahead and hit save, and then every time I select back squat from here on out, it's gonna revert back to that camera angle. And again, those are the pre uh, presets that I can transfer to the rest of my devices.